y'all it's kennedy simone here and i am back again with another video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to be a part of ken's crew because we're the best crew of course you're already here it's free come on it's on the fan but yeah so as you can tell from the title this is going to be 20 habits of successful college students and teens this is going to help you guys with your school that's going to help you guys with your productivity everything if you don't know i'm a sophomore economics major management and organization minor at spelman college it's the number one hbcu in the us of a okay spell that but yes yeah, so i'm just here to give you some tips that i have found that's worked for me other people that i have talked to it's worked for them so i'm just letting you guys know so y'all can be successful okay Cause that's what we trying to do 4.0 season okay so yeah disclaimer this is in no particular order nothing like that i just wrote down 20 different habits that will be beneficial to you guys let me know if this helped you out i really hope it does that's always the goal so yeah let's just get right into the video all right number one be organized use your planner it really helps you get organized i swear by a planner okay i have to have a planner at all times because otherwise i will forget my memory is bad so i will forget so i have to write everything out and just writing it out and visually seeing it helps you stay organized also keep your backpack and your notebooks or your notes and everything keep those organized kind of keep them neat and everything so whenever you're looking back for a test or a quiz or reviewing it's all in order and it's all organized number two take notes if you don't already i think you should take notes i can make a video about how i take notes but it's very you know self-explanatory but i do recommend doing like a voice memo if you can record your class because that really helps if your professor talks really fast if you're an auditory learner then that will help um in your note taking process so definitely take notes it's, it's essential okay it's essential number three set a schedule for your day so i usually make this at night or i make this right in the morning when i wake up i make a schedule for my day i either write down the things i want to get done i write down if i want to go to the gym at what time i usually write down everything that just i have to do for that day so you know what you have going on and it really helps to set a schedule for your day Number four, study daily. It'll help your brain remember the information and not just forget it after you hear it the first time and take your notes in class. So reviewing your notes and studying daily really helps because then you don't have to be cramming at the last minute for a quiz or an exam because you already have most of it memorized, if not all. Number five, get ahead in your schoolwork. I know y'all have, and I have personally, had to play catch up because you fell behind in something or forgot something was coming up but if you stay ahead then you don't have to play catch up you're always on time and you're always doing things before it's even due so you don't even have to stress about it i know we've all had those last minute cramming to get things in before 11 59 pm so you don't have to have that problem if you're staying ahead in all your work number six be proactive and be productive so definitely try to be proactive in using your time wisely and be productive in your daily life because if you don't then you'll just get behind and like the last tip you'll stay ahead if you're productive and proactive about all the things you have to do so number seven take minimal naps try not to nap during the day or have too much downtime during the day just because when the sun is out or when it's daytime and you're like doing stuff you're more likely to get things done so just go ahead and get it done get it out the way so you don't have to worry about it at nighttime or you have very minimal things to do at night so just just try not to take as many naps i know i'm preaching to the choir because i have trouble taking naps and during the day so just try not to you know or minimize it as much as you can number eight have a routine so i like i said early setting a daily schedule all that kind of stuff having a routine is very important um i know every day is not the same you have different classes probably every single day or you know every other day so just try to make a general schedule like i'm gonna wake up at this time i'm gonna go to class i'm gonna do work in between this and this class you know try to have a good routine because then it keeps you on track i think it's 14 days uh two weeks before you form a habit so once you get into a routine for about two weeks 
then I think you'll have it down pat. You can only go up from there, so yeah. So number nine, office hours. Go to office hours. Um, I said this in my how to get a 4.0, how to get straight A's in college video. I'll link it right here if you wanna check it out. I have a lot of gems in there, so check it out. But I said this, go to office hours in that video because it's very important and it is crucial to getting really good grades and just forming relationships. College is about networking and forming relationships and your professors are the main source of networking that you should be doing just so you can have a good relationship with them and and they can help you out just in case you need it so yeah number 10 which should be obvious and should be done by everybody but not everybody does it attend all classes just go get up and go like literally I don't know if everybody pays for college even if you're doing on a scholarship a full scholarship somebody's paying for something okay so just get up and go to class because it costs too much money to be sitting in your bed asleep so just get up and go to class period so number 11, read and review before and after class. I know it's hard to like review stuff that you just learned, but that's the only way. It's really gonna stick because most of the time we just learn things for the quiz or for the exam, but normally finals are cumulative. So you're gonna have to remember it anyway for the whole semester, if not more. So just go ahead and review before and after class, especially if it's your major class, because things build on top of each other. Whether you see it again in that class or not, you'll probably use it in a different class, a more advanced level of that class or something. Just try to review before and after class um, because it just helps overall, it really does. So yeah, I'm still working on that, but we're gonna do it together, okay? We're gonna do it together. Number 12, set goals for your day, set goals for your week, month, semester, everything. Because when you set goals, you're more likely to achieve them because you see it in front of you, especially like writing it out, like on a whiteboard or on a sticky note or something. And like, this is my goal for today, or this is my goal for this week. And just achieving them, taking the steps that you need to take each day to achieve them, then, you know, you'll reach your end goal. And that's like the best feeling ever when you accomplish goals or like when you cross out something or check something off of your like goal list or your list or whatever. That's the best feeling. So I definitely highly recommend setting goals for your day, week, semester, all of that. Number 13, ask questions in class. Participating in class and asking questions will really jog your memory in the long run because I know when I personally ask questions and the teacher explains it to me, I remember that more than probably anything because you get that one-on-one -on -one explanation or you get a more in-depth explanation even though you may have already kind of figured it out they can usually probably explain it a little bit more and you'll really get it so definitely try to ask questions in class even if you don't have like you know a lot of questions or even if you do don't be afraid to ask questions like nobody will judge you if they do who cares because it's your grade at the end of the day so their opinions of you asking questions and you participating in class don't worry if they call you the teacher's pet that's that's cool because you probably will get an a so none of that matters okay so number 15 make note cards and practice tests for yourself so you can kind of review and get a feel of what you need to know for your test or quizzes and anything um, i use quizlet for my note cards and my practice tests and they also have like games on there and different stuff like that so definitely use quizlet if you haven't already i'm pretty sure you do <laughs> but yeah quizlet definitely helps me a lot because it's like a practice test note cards games there's a learning tool as well so definitely check it out um you only have to put in your note cards once your terms and definitions once and then you can have all these different forms of knowing and learning the material number 16 get everything packed and prepared the night before so pack your books lay out your clothes it just causes for a more productive day because you're already prepared you're not scrambling you may forget something if you're scrambling so just try to prepare and do all that kind of stuff the night before so you have a smooth day like it really does help like the little things they really do help i swear i swear Number 17, leave your room and don't study in bed. I know not everybody has a place out of their room that they wanna study, but if you are in your room studying, try not to study on your bed. It just clashes the whole relaxing sleep and productive work part of your life. You wanna to try to keep that separate. I know sometimes I do study in bed, but it's never anything major that I would have to 
really put all my attention and energy into. So definitely try to, you know, find you a little study area, even if it's in the lounge area of your dorm. So just try to get out of your room and switch up your study area so you can kind of be more productive. So number 18, have your priorities in order. For me, it's school first. That's why I'm here. I'm here for school. Everything else is second. Because if I'm having fun and all that kind of stuff, which I feel like is a part of the whole college experience for sure, but it's definitely not my number one priority. So definitely try to set your priorities. It may be different from mine. It may be different for everybody. So just set your priorities and know when to say no sometimes. like. You can't always do everything, okay? So sometimes you have to say no, whether it's your friend asking you to go to the movie on a weekday or Thirsty Thursday, or even just a meeting that you really just don't have time for. Know when to say no. If you don't have your priorities in order, if you don't have your homework done, you gotta say no, sis. You gotta say no. Number 19, wake up early. I feel like the most successful people, whether it be college students or billionaires, they wake up early because they have more time in their day and you're more productive and you get more things done if you have a longer period of time of you being awake. Literally, I'm working on this myself. I'm trying to be more productive and wake up earlier. I'm not a morning person. So it's a struggle sometimes, but I am trying to wake up earlier because it really is the key to success because the most successful people wake up earlier and go to sleep later and that's just is what it is because they, they gotta grind. You can sleep when you're dead. And my last and final habit I would say is stay motivated, stay inspired. Think about the end goal. Think about how good you're gonna feel when you accomplish your goals and accomplish what you've been striving for is gonna feel amazing so just stay motivated try to find your self motivation in yourself if you do find outside motivation or inspiration from other people or other things try to keep that you know motivation inside of you and inspiration because that is key in college because sometimes you won't want to do some things but if you're motivated and you think about that end goal you will achieve it I know you will it's 4.0 season okay because we're not taking anything less okay we're only getting a's okay i'm speaking it i'm speaking it we're manifesting it okay stay motivated stay inspired i love you guys i really hope this helped you guys i didn't say this earlier but i'm not perfect i don't do all of these things every single day i wish i would and i'm working on it and i hope you will work on it as well we're learning together we're flourishing together Kansas crew is coming for everybody's next okay in 2019 because we're killing it we're killing the game okay and that's it, that's all. But yeah, I want you guys to comment down below what keeps you motivated and inspired. I really would love to know. I wanna see what motivates you guys. And I wanna chat with y'all in the comments. Y'all already know I'll respond to everybody's comments and everything. So definitely let's start a conversation in the comment section because it'll be going up in there, the real ones. Y'all the real ones down there. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what other videos you would like to see from me, sit down videos of uh, vlogs routines i have a lot of things coming up so definitely stay tuned subscribe and turn your notification bell on because youtube don't be trying to notify y'all whenever i post a video and that's just disrespectful okay but it's all right because you know we're gonna get to it okay so turn on your bell so y'all know when i post a video and yeah i really hope you guys stay tuned for my next video and i will see you guys in my next one passion purpose prosper bye Kennedy, some more.